oh my gosh, I just finished work for the day. I even just finished a night sky news where I was like, yeah, it's James Webb Space Telescope. It's detected its first photons, but there's no image yet. And then I finish up and I'm like, ah, oh, NASA has just dropped this. This is so exciting. I had to go live. I couldn't, I could not talk about it like right now. So this is the first image from the near cam detector on the James Webb Space Telescope. And yes, it looks a bit naff, right, <laughs> when you first look at it. So essentially what you're seeing here is one star seen 18 times by the individual 18 different mirrors on the James Webb Space Telescope. So essentially what we have now on purpose is a cross-eyed telescope. It's a telescope that's, you know, all of its individual mirrors are not working together as one. They're all looking in completely different directions. So they see the star in completely different places, right? And so that's why you're seeing it over here. And I remember seeing that the team said that they actually searched like across an area of sky that was about the size of the full moon because they had no idea where these stars were going to appear sort of in the field of view of James Misty. I say stars, it was one star, right? But they had no idea where these sort of like ghost images of the star were going to appear for each of the different mirrors because they were all pointing in the wrong direction in a different direction. And so this is why they've ended up with this image. And you might say, okay, well, why have they released it? Because it looks naff, right? <laughs> because the telescope isn't aligned properly yet. That's what the next three months are all about. But I just think it's so exciting that we've managed to launch this thing. It's managed to unfold over the past month, get to this, you know, orbital position. And finally, we've been able to actually be like, can we detect light with this thing? And we've shown that we can. We clearly can. And that's what is so, so exciting, even if it looks a bit naff. Now, the good thing is they're actually going to be able to use this image to align the mirrors of the telescope over the next couple of months. So they're going to take each one of these. You see how it's kind of like a funny like shape? It's not like a, a nice pinprick of light of a star that you expect. That's what all about what the sort of like angling of the mirrors is going to be like. They're going to focus each mirror and get it looking, you know, like a nice star. And then they're going to bring them all together so that the uh, telescope is essentially all aligned so that it works as one big mirror so that all the light is focused from each mirror on the same place on the detector. So you don't get 18 images of the same thing. You just get the one image and you see one star. So interesting, interestingly, this star that they chose to do this, it's called HD84406. It's a star that's like not too bright, not too faint, but when it's actually focused the telescope, it will be too bright of a star to point the James Webb Space Telescope at it because it's that sensitive. So they needed something that was in, you know, the right place in the sky because obviously James Webb can only point in one sort of direction-ish because obviously it can't point in the direction that the sun is in. So you had to pick something that was, you know, the right kind of brightness in the right position in the sky that would be visible right now and that they could do this on. So they're obviously quite limited. And the star they picked is in the constellation of Ursa Major, right? It's right by, you know, the plow, the Big Dipper. So it's right by, if you've got the handle of the plow and then sort of the actual pan, it's right by the, the sort of like top right-hand corner of the pan. If, you know, it's clear tonight and you fancy going outside, looking up at the sky, looking up at the plow and sort of like staring and waving in the same direction <laughs> as James Webb is looking right now as well. So... I couldn't help but do a live right now, could I? I mean, I know my previous video was on like the five new big telescopes to get excited for. <laughs> Someone just posted me um, a meme on Twitter as well that was, you know, the distracted boyfriend meme. And it was like, JD Boy's T was annoying because I was like, ooh, look at all the new <laughs> observatories that are coming. I am still excited about James Webb. Of course I am. I think the grin on my face when <laughs> we tell you that. And then poor lighting in this video. I'm just so excited just to see this image as weird enough as it looks, right? So I hope you were all as excited as I was when this was um, just released as well. Um, and are watching like, you know, all of the GIFs and the uh, the videos that NASA have put out about how this alignment process is gonna happen. There will be more on that on my Night Sky News, which is coming out next Thursday, which I apparently now need to edit because I filmed it before this was released. And now we've got, so much more to talk about. So I will see you all next Thursday when that comes out. And um, yeah, I'll leave you all to just stare at this beautiful and yet naff looking image at the same time. <laughs> Bye all.